Hi, when the coronavirus crisis finally hit us in Sri Lanka, it was in late March, I decided as a journalist and a responsible citizen to maintain a diary of the crisis, uh, visually and verbally. And uh, I remember that the curfew was imposed in Colombo and island-wide on the 27th of March, it was a Friday. From that day on, I was taking photographs uh, for two months. The curfew lasted two months until late in May. Unfortunately, I had two problems. Um, I have two video cameras. This one that I'm filming with, that's a Canon uh, 600D and uh, a Nikon. Uh, an old Nikon D90 as a backup. Um, a few days after the curfew, this camera toppled over with the tripod and the lens and the filter was damaged. I had a backup lens, but unfortunately I didn't have a filter. And without this neutral density filter, you can't uh, to make videos in uh, daylight. So I was confined to making uh, still photographs with the D90. With the old D90, most probably we could, because it has lower resolution, you can make videos, tolerable videos outside uh, without the filter. But unfortunately, my I had given my battery charger to someone and I couldn't get it back. So the, my battery was running down very fast. So there was no option. I really could not make videos uh, after the first few days. But I made a record of still photographs. So I'm making, I'm presenting this now as uh, 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 memory of those terrible times because i have not never experienced anything like this in my life like we were lucky uh, to get away lightly with in sri lanka to with covid 19 or coronavirus because up till now we have had only 12 deaths and less than 3000 infected cases totally but uh, we have to wait till the airports reopen fully and uh, the tourism starts and there are lots of migrant workers still stuck in different various countries especially in the middle east waiting to come back and the tourism because we need these interactions to survive as an island so um, in in colombo now we have a sense of complacency with people uh, I can see even in, in Colombo where a um, lot of police presence, so it's stricter than the outlying areas. Uh, people are now going around without masks. I'm right outside my home, so this is my gate. So that's why I'm not wearing a mask. But if I go out, I wear a mask all the time. I think it's very necessary because the epidemic rages on. In March, I remember when I started this, the WHO was predict predicting uh, 1 million cases worldwide. Now it's over 5 million and still climbing. In many parts of the world, it's still rising. In Europe, Latin America, Africa, in parts of Asia, so uh, in India. So um, we are not out of the danger yet. But uh, when I look back on these videos I made here at home, um, I could make videos here just talking without going out and filming, just talking about the crisis. These are my intimate thoughts at that time because I had not experienced anything like this terror. Uh, it is terror. In the 19, in period of 1989 to 90, I remember that uh, soon after I got married, there was a, a period of political terror government rebellion against the government and government backlash and thousands of people thousands of people were killed and disappeared but uh, that was uh, done by people there were bodies everywhere and many bodies were never even found but that was done by people it was tangible now coronavirus the terror is by a virus that you don't see it's invisible is a thousand times more terrifying in fact so um, this and we are still going through now I can go back and make videos of life slowly returning back to normal but it will not be normal because though clinically and medically we were spared the worst economically we've been hit very hard i know it from uh, my own position serious salary cuts uh, loss of jobs and uh, loss of hope for the future uh, that is the worst part and people are barely surviving in many sections um, I would like to continue with this record for, until the uh, crisis is well and truly gone. Uh, I, hip, I hope, I do hope sincerely, it will not get worse in Sri Lanka because we cannot survive a second curfew. That is uh, my, 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 my 
belief, sincere belief, because um, I cannot survive a second curfew economically. Uh, and people for people below, below us, it is, will be much, much worse. So we hope, we hope that we will not be seeing the worst and uh, in the parts of the world that are, uh, where it is raging right now, that uh, things will uh, start subsiding very soon. I am uh, glad that I made these uh, videos and uh, took these photographs because uh, it is a, a, a memory of a very, very bleak time of our lives and which I hope we will not face again. Thank you. Malvatha Street is half empty today, Wednesday, 18th of March because of the coronavirus fears. That's all the railway station right at the end. And I managed to find a parking space for my scooter. It is a miracle at this time. Half the shops have their shuttles down. And there are very few pedestrians. This says it all. Because of the coronavirus fears, people are keeping away. Even the lottery sellers have given up. It says a lot about the current situation. Some masks have Otherwise, people are expecting they are in the street, they have to make a living. <coughs> This water tap has been installed by the uh, traders here. I thought it's by the municipality uh, to wash. For, for people can come and wash their hands, clean their hands and faces, and that's a very good thing. And it's the traders, people on the pavements and the small shops around here who have done it. You can see the uh, pedestrian bridge over there. There, going towards the Fort Railway Station. It's almost empty. There is one lottery shop. He is here. He is hopeful. I'm in front of the Fort Railway Station. You can see that most of the people are without masks. That's this. Okay, a woman pedestrian is wearing a mask. She is laden with groceries. Here is one lottery seller who is not afraid of coronavirus. There are two taps installed on either side of Malvata Road, the turn to Malvata Road, and you can see people washing their hands. Now we are turning slowly towards what used to be the Chalmers Granaries. This complex has been knocked down. To build what, I have no idea, but uh, you can bet that it's going to be a mega structure, multi-story structure, many, many, many stories high. But this is a 19th century complex that housed grains imported to Colombo during the British times.
This is Kid Selvaraj from Hatton. Uh, he works in a shop in Malwat Street and he has a story to tell. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Ah, sir. Let's see what he has to say. 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 किंग एक टिंग एक किंग लेडेवल अड्वे नो वातुरु जाम में ना मैं लंगे जीना मैं ऐसे कहीं ना क्योंकि वातुरु इतना है बस वाले सेना का ना ये बस से क्या हटने के नांग ऐना कोटा आप ही दाह देने कितिए सुध देने के नांग का ये सीट कड़ा खाओ रुवात लंगिंग वात गिया ना मैं एम आई टी नहीं प्रॉब्लम ह कितने कोटे इनमें तो फॉरेनर्स का पेन है एक के निकट पेन है ना ये दिन ने केवल रे दाया मार ना दाया मार इधर इधर रूम सोए ना रूम काउंट दिन ने इतना ना रूम दिन ने दिन ना दिन ना देखो होते नहीं हैं ना पाव 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 ऐसा बाला दिन ना पिता रटे की इंदल अविला कला पिकरने का लुकु पावा मना करांडे जाए � Tadi, ya nama udah light bill kawan nak kawan kan dapat tidak na? Emai kini, saya bukan dah manusia di perasan desi ayat ini tu na, desi ayat si ayat ini tu na, bahasa zaman tu jelah kita. Jadi, ada yang mesti kita. Ah, ah, oh sir. Jawa daru tu orang nak tu kan na? Nak tu kan dah, tidak na? Tamai mata ina tuh deh na. Kar darah kodai, mana orang dah tu? Bom amar wing rimmeki an ni dah. Okay.